Welcome to Flight Test. We're going to show you how to put LEDs on your quad. Tools you'll need. Soldering iron, tweezers, they don't have to be this big, side snips, double-sided tape, and some solder. You're going to need an LED. We like to use the Lumineer ones that are located on our store. You can install these on any quad. We're going to show you on our Turbo Gremlin. In this video, we're using the HGLRC flight controller that's in our Turbo Gremlin Complete Kit. First, I'm going to locate the pads I'm going to need. Ground, LED signal, and 5 volt. Next, we're going to tin the pads on our flight controller. Now we're going to tin the tip of our wires and we're going to solder them onto the pads. Now that it's soldered to the board, plan out where your LED is going to be placed. I'm going to place it on the right rear arm. We're going to measure how much we need and cut off the excess. Now we're going to solder to the LED. We're going to start by tinning it. As you can see, there is a ground 5 volt in and out. We're going to use the ground the 5 volt and the in. Don't worry if you bridge them, you can just take your soldering iron and swipe right over it and they'll unbridge. Next we're going to pull these wires apart and strip the ends. Now you're going to tin your wire. You're going to solder to your LED. Make sure your ground goes to ground, signal to signal, and 5 volt to 5 volt. Next cut your double sided tape to fit the back of the LED. Make sure your wires are routed away from all moving parts and we're going to stick it onto the quad. If you want to add multiple LED strips, start by soldering three wires to the existing LED. Solder your new wire on top of the 5 volt, on top of the ground, and to the unused signal out pad. And then solder the 5 volt to the 5 volt, the ground to the ground, and the signal out to the signal in of the new LED. Now the hard part's over. Yay! <laughs> now you're gonna go into the Betaflight configurator and we're gonna program the LED. You'll see once it's connected, it'll say USB modem up here or COM if you're using a PC. Once you connected, we're going to go to your configuration tab. You're gonna scroll down. On the left, you'll see in other features right here, you'll see your LED strip. We're going to turn that on. Save and reboot at the bottom. Once your quad connects again, we're going to go down on the left to LED strip. Now you'll see a grid. This is where we're going to program our LED. To start programming our LED, we're going to click wiring order mode. That's going to make our grid active. Now up here it says 32. You can set up to 32 LEDs on your quad. We're only going to use four. I'm going to start by clicking and you see a zero up here. That's actually going to be LED one. We have four LEDs on our quad, so I'm going to actually make four markers. Now when you go over each marker, you can go up here to our function tab and you have a bunch of different modes you can pick. Color, modes and orientation, arm state and so on. I like to use just color and we're going to pick purple. I'm going to do this to every LED and I'm going to save. Now we're going to plug in our quad to verify our LEDs work. Make sure your props are off while doing so. All right. Before moving on, we unplug the battery. Now we're going to disconnect our quad and reconnect it to verify that our settings have saved and our purple LEDs have saved. Now you can do a couple other settings with your LEDs as well. We have throttle, blink always, Larson effect, Warnings, Indicator, or VTX. I like to do Larson, so I'm gonna give an example of that right now. I just click each LED and switch it over to the Larson scanner, and I'm going to save. Now I plug my battery back in and verify the setting. Make sure your props are off while doing so. And there you have it. That was the basic rundown of how to install LED on your quad. Feel free to experiment in Betaflight. There's a bunch of different configurations.